Hi guys, it's taken me a couple of tries, but I have figured out how to use Autocrat to create personalized reports that you can send to your students. Um, so in order to do this, you've got to create a Google form first. And you saw in the tutorial already what the form looked like. Here it is. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, and then, of course, Google Forms, you, you put your you know, information into the form and it curates that data or gathers it up in a couple of ways so you can see it here. But the really cool thing is it also creates a spreadsheet. Now I've got the spreadsheet already open up here so I won't open a second um, version of it. Okay, so here's my data, right, all in the spreadsheet. And I want to send this grading information to my students once I've completed um, all of my grading and I want to send it to their email. So I actually added a column here called email. For the purpose of this demonstration, the emails are just going to go to my Gmail account. All right, now before you can actually start Autocrat, you need to also create a template um, to which Autocrat will send the data from your spreadsheet, okay? And um, so I just created a real simple one. And the way that you create little tags for Autocrat to populate, or kind of these fields that Autocrat will populate, is by using these um, little brackets, these uh, angle brackets. So you do two of them to start. You put the name of the column title. So take a look here. It's exactly as it appears there. And then you close those angle brackets. OK, so I did that three times because I have three um, fields of data. All right, so this is my template. It's in my Google Drive. All right, here we go. Add-ons. As you know, Autocrat is a Chrome add-on, or it's a Google Spreadsheet add-on. So I'm going to open it. It's going to take a minute. It can be a little bit laggy, but we're going to cross our fingers. Okay, here it is. And you can see that I've actually um, done a little bit of uh, work in here before, but I'm going to create a new job. So I click on new job, generating new job. And I'm going to just call this biology lab reports. I'm going to save that. Oh, okay. I need to select a template. And if I've created a template and used it before, Autocrat will actually prompt me with some options. Uh, this is the one, but you can also just go to your drive to find it, but it'll just be faster if I just click use there, because that is the one I want to use. All right, so it knows which template to use, and I'm going to click on next. And now this is the, the page where the, the correspondence happens, or you know, you tell it which data to put where. And so we've got the columns here, okay, and we have the little tags, or those little codes from the template here. And so do I want student name to go into the spot on the form that says, or on that report that says student name? Yes, I do. So there we go. Student name, grade will go into this spot, and then comments will go into this spot. Okay, so then I click on next. Now, the Autocrat is going to create a file for all of these reports um, that it generates. So I'm going to have each of mine named like this. Okay, and it's going to create a Google Doc for me. And I'm going to tell it where to send all of these reports that it's generating. And in fact, it's going to be this period two biology lab reports folder that I also created in my drive. So I double click that and that's where it's going to go. Or maybe just single click it, just select. Okay, there we go. And then I click on next. I don't need a dynamic folder reference right now or these other things, but I do want to share the docs and send emails. So I'm going to click yes. So share doc as I want it to be a view only doc. And um, do I want to allow collaborators to reshare? Um, we'll say no. Send from generic, no reply address, no. I'm going to send it 
from my account. And then um, I want to send it to email, right? So that's why I added that email column in the, um, the spreadsheet. Okay, and then I'm going to type in a subject, your lab report. And um, here is a personal report with your feedback. Whatever, right? Click Next. I don't need any of these things, so I'm going to click on Save. Okay, here we go. So it's saving my job. Takes a minute. This is the one that I just created. And now I'm going to run the job. So click on run and let's see what happens. Okay, you can see something happening behind here in my spreadsheet. a minute. Uh, and already you can see my emails are starting to come in. Okay, so it's done. Now if I go to my drive, Go to my biology, period two biology lab reports folder. Look at that. There are the documents. They've just been added in. You can see them here. And you see all of that data from the spreadsheet is populated into that lab report. If I go to my email, right, there it is. So, right, if this were Bart Simpson's email address, this is what he would find. So there you have it. That's how you use Autocrat to create personalized reports that you can send to your students.